Good morning, Trinity friends, and happy Wednesday in the Word with Miss Alyssa. So today we are looking at 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4. So Jesus tells us that the number one thing that we can do is to love. We can love God and love others. And today's verse explains what love looks like. It's kind, it's not jealous or braggy or proud, but the first part might actually be the hardest. And as I was um, reading and reflecting on um, this verse, I realized how hard it can be to love humans sometimes. I love being around people, I love talking to humans, but I've also realized how tricky humans can be sometimes where maybe there's a disagreement or different ideas or views and loving people can, can be kind of tricky. And we know from God's word that love is patient. Love doesn't hurry and it doesn't yell or it doesn't push to the front or insist that one way is the only way. Love lets others go first. Love waits its turn. And I think this is a really great verse to help us love the humans around us. And I think the challenging part is when we're um, walking through our own things, when there's um, just a season of life that feels really challenging and really hard, how can we love others and love God even in the midst of that? How are we um, being the hands and feet of the Lord? How are we going out and loving people with just the love of Christ that he has given us? And I think of, you know, love is sincere. How are we um, serving people in our lives that God has given us and, and, and serving and loving them with a joyful heart, but not one that's um, resentful or, or any of those other not great feelings? So hopefully you'll listen uh, to this at the end of the day, but think back on your day. Were you maybe impatient with somebody? And what have you could have done differently to show love to that person instead of impatience? And if you maybe weren't so patient or so loving to that human, what can you do to show up for them tomorrow or the day after that? And so beautifully finding ways to to go out of your way and to loving on them and you know maybe if there are a really challenging human in your life asking god to give you the strength to love them because sometimes there are those people in our lives or in our communities that are just a little little harder to love um but of course asking the lord and knowing that we cannot do it on our own strength but the strength that comes from him and if you are interested in a little art project with your kiddos, so you can take um, a piece of paper or maybe some cardstock paper and write the words, love is patient in big block letters. And you can decorate the page with lots of color. So it really stands out. And if you have, of course, tiny humans, I'm assuming that a lot of artwork goes on your refrigerator. So post it on the fridge or somewhere where everybody can see it. And when you read it, ask God to show you to love others by choosing to be patient with them. And then thank God for being patient with you. So I hope this is an encouragement to you and your family um, to go out and love other humans, to be patient with other humans, um, just as the Lord extends his kindness and patience with us. See you next time.